Hi there, welcome back to my Grand Theft Auto 3 Let's Play. This is uh, some episode in the later teens, and today we're going to be oh, trying to finish up these missions. Trying to get to Catalina. I believe her name is Catalina. Trying to get to her. Uh, she has kidnapped Maria and is holding her for ransom. So I'm going to go try to solve that out. I think this is one of the, uh, the last missions in the game. I'm very excited about that. I think uh, Grand Theft Auto is... Ooh, there we go. It's kind of uh, hitting its limit for me as far as how much I'm willing to play this game. And if you look at the past couple episodes, uh, you'll really, really see that. I die a lot. Um, I die due to oh, my own inability to play the game well, to maybe some uh, control problems in the game. But mostly due to my own, uh, just my own errors. And that sucks. Um, and the game has no checkpointing system, so uh, you fail a mission, you gotta do the whole thing over again. So, looking forward to being able to do some of that. Now I'm, I'm talking and uh, doing some very serious driving here. Uh, of course, the minute I pointed out is the minute I... Uh, crash, but I really, really do like these tunnels. I've spoken in a, a past episode of this Let's Play about how much I just uh, love these tunnels. They they really do have the, um, uh, what's it called? Whoa, my word, sorry. Uh, Ronin. Uh, if you're familiar with the car chase scene from Ronin, it's a lot of tight streets uh, in Rome, I believe, I want to say, it takes place in Rome. And then, uh, let's go the other way. So tight streets in Rome, and then uh, tight tunnels as well. They're really excellent. Might be Paris. I don't, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Uh, but you should go and check that scene out on YouTube. Give it a Google. Ronin car chase scene. It's better than uh, watching me drive around for sure. All right, so uh, trying to find Catalina. I don't really know where she is. Presumably it's up this way. I know she's not in Portland. She's got to be here in uh, this wonderful residential district. It's just beautiful and it's sad the game doesn't have you coming here more often or doing more missions up through here. Just beautiful. Beautiful stuff. You can really kind of see the uh, I don't know. They were already trying to mimic the real world. Uh, in Grand Theft Auto 3, what we really got, you know, uh, in Grand Theft Auto 5. The Exchange. The real question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot! Oh my god, sorry. I'm just trying to uh, not die here, and it's pretty rough. What the hell? You want the chase on thing? I'm embroiled in a gun battle I don't have to be embroiled in. Come on. Here we go. Whew. So I guess I'm following a helicopter. Um, 
pretty unsure at this point about what's actually going on, but uh, I'm in a minivan. This minivan actually goes pretty fast. So I'm feeling good about it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess getting down there. Kind of went in a circle. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So here's uh, some dudes. I'll drive through them. With my powerful minivan. Vroom vroom vroom. through these dudes as well. Well, shit. Um, that did not go the way it needed to. So right now I'm just trying to clear out some enemies. Uh, this isn't really a good talky part. I'm sorry about that. It's mostly about identifying where enemies are and preventing them from killing me as soon as I see them. You'll notice up there that I've got a lot of different weapons. It's because I did what I would have done, uh, you know, in child times and I put in the weapon code I'm just very tired of dying I'm very uh, ready for this game to be over shit get this thing airborne died anyway did not fucking matter Alright, so now I'm trying to pick off some of these enemies. I got a good hard five minutes remaining. You'll notice I've got a lot of weapons. That's because uh, I'm tired of dying here. And so I did what I thought I would ne not have to do this entire time and put in the weapons cheat. Um, I suppose that I could have figured out where a Ammunition is? Sorry, I was getting real into it. Could have figured out where an ammunition is. Um, and then went and stocked up, you know, really quickly. But I think it's easier just to... Uh... Quite literally blast my way through uh, this last mission in the game. It's also less frustrating. I will finish it. Um, you know. I'll actually do it. Whereas it was uh, up in the air. Doing it manually. Now you get to see some, some of my sweet maneuvers. 
maneuver. It's not a tumor, it's a maneuver. It's one of those good old internet memes that you might have heard about. I like the sniper rifle, it's a... It's a precision machine in a uh, game that is almost aggressively non-precise. See what we can do. You can catch all of us lovely ladies. Get this thing airborne! It ain't no thing, but it's just a guy trying to kill me with a truck. Oh my god. I don't know if I was supposed to. Oh yeah, I definitely was supposed to be able to shoot that out of the air. All right, so now I've just gotta play it real simple. He had a flamethrower it looked like. That's, uh, that's no good. Is really stressful. So coming up here on the end of the game, I'm certain I'll die as soon as it happens. All right, see. Oh my God. I forgot I had to rescue her and not and not kill her. I was thinking that was Catalina. Oh my god. Alright. Well damn it all to hell. Oh my god, I've finally done it. Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Oh, you know, we're gonna have such fun, because, you, know, you know, I love you. I, I, I really do, because you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I need. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. I broke a nail and my hair is ruined. I mean, can you believe it? This one cost me $50. So there you have it. Grand Theft Auto 3 ends with... Uh the rescued woman being shot by the protagonist for being too annoying. It's kind of a definitive statement uh, from Grand Theft Auto on its position on women. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised it doesn't get brought up more. 
I'm gonna have one more video where I just sort of talk and think about uh, what happened with Grand Theft Auto and how I uh, have experienced this, but uh, thanks so much for watching this entire uh, video series, and uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm excited about doing the next thing. In any case, so uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this. Check out the last video, it'll be coming soon. And uh, keep on the lookout for the next, the next video that comes from here, from me. From me here, then, and there. When, where? I don't know, then and there. All right, thanks so much.